Greetings, one and all two universes. In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to see who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after this episode to see the next fighters, so you can make your predictions down in the comment section below or in a video response. And who knows, your comment or video response could be featured in the next episode. So with all that said, let's meet our two fighters. Haihachi Mishima, the super old karate guy, and Akuma, the other super old karate guy. Which of these two iconic fighting game legends would win in a battle to the death? Before Tekken 7 gives us an answer, let's find out who really deserves the win with some good old fashioned research. This is Universes. Not much is known about Heihachi's early life, but one thing's for sure, he definitely didn't pick up any good parenting skills. In fact, his father Jinpachi was apparently so bad at being a parent that he forgot to tell Heihachi that it wasn't good to lock people under mountains and steal everything they own, which Heihachi did. With his father out of the picture, Heihachi became world famous and was free to corrupt the Mishima Zaibatsu as he pleased. He even picked himself up a cute little wife along the way. Everything was perfect. That is until he had a son by the name of Kazuya. You see, Heihachi's wife, Kazumi, actually possessed the devil gene which was soon inherited by Kazuya. His wife knew she couldn't keep it a secret forever and could see the terrible future of what Heihachi would do when he finds out. Unfortunately for her, her visions of the future were correct. Heihachi fought and defeated her and was forced to kill her and dedicated the rest of his life to ridding the world of these horrid demons, even going as far as to start wars and hold tournaments to draw the Devil Gene users out of hiding. As a fighting game boss, of course Heihachi is a total powerhouse with some killer moves and abilities. He uses Mishima-style fighting karate and amplifies the strength of his punches with a powerful lightning-like aura. Heihachi is a very powerful combo fighter. He relies on getting that first hit in with a strong blow that stuns his opponent long enough to follow up with a deadly chain of attacks. He can kick, punch, and throw opponents so hard that they fly several meters away. He has several parries and counterattacks as well to completely reverse his opponent when they attack. Special abilities like his Rage Art and Rage Drive allow Heihachi to tank an attack and muscle through it despite how powerful it may be in order to perform an insanely powerful attack of his own. Heihachi's arsenal is big, fast, strong, and has nearly a hundred different moves he can do. With these skills, he has dueled with the greatest martial artists from around the world. His only true weakness being his cocky attitude. He often underestimates opponents like Jin and Kazuya and laughs in their face only to get his butt handed to them the next moment. I guess I can cut him some slack though, it's hard not to be cocky considering what Heihachi has done. He can bite through a tomahawk, catch bullets with his teeth, and fights monsters and demons on a regular basis. He survived an explosion so intense that it destroyed an entire mountain and sent him flying several miles away. And he, along with his son Kazuya, were able to fight and one-shot an army of jack robots. Robots that can move up to speeds of Mach 5000, destroy gigantic meteors, and tank blasts that destroy a large island-sized landscape along with multiple mountains. He's even the one who killed his wife Kazumi who can summon tigers and destroy volcanoes by summoning gigantic fireballs from the sky. Heihachi has over five decades worth of combat experience and has defeated all kinds of deities and superhumans. And he has all these feats and strengths despite his old age of being over 70 years old. Come on Trump, you're over 70. What have you done? Reality TV star, multi-billionaire, and president of the United States? Pfft, big deal. Get on Heihachi's level. You know, it's pretty normal for brothers to bicker, but Akuma and his brother Gokin took it to a whole new level. Jeez, what's with these fighting game bosses and family issues? 
Anyways, both Akuma and Gokin trained under their master Gotetsu. They both seemed to be fine and respectful students until a technique called the Shun Goku Satsu was brought up. This was a deadly technique that could only be performed by someone who embraced the Satsui no Hado. This is where the split occurred. Akuma was quite interested in learning this new technique and fighting style, wishing to learn more. Meanwhile, Gokin didn't appreciate what learning this style would mean for him. To learn the Shun Goku Satsu, one must embrace the principle of the Satsui no Hado and give up compassion for other human beings. And as you can imagine, Gokin wasn't too keen on that. Akuma, on the other hand, jumped at the chance to increase his powerful arsenal and become even stronger. After training alone for a while, he came back to kill his master and defeat Gokin. Akuma had become a beast, seeking only to fight the strongest foes. Using the Satsui no Hado to its fullest potential, Akuma has made his fighting style, the Ansatsuken, into the deadliest variation possible. Instead of coming out as a light blue like normal people, Akuma's key comes out as a ghostly purple when he fires the Gohaduken. He has the Go Shoryuken, which is a more powerful and deadly version of the regular Shoryuken. And of course, he has the Tatsumaki Zenkukyaku, which is an evil Satsui no powered version of the Tatsumaki Senpukyaku. Now let's get into the reason Akuma even wanted to learn the Satsui no Hado to begin with. The Shun Goku Satsu, also known known as the Raging Demon. This attack is meant to completely destroy the soul of the victim depending on how much evil they've done. One can survive this technique though by emptying their soul, whatever that means, or somehow be tough enough to muscle through it. There's also a special finishing move called the Misogi where Akuma grabs his opponent's face and slams them into the ground as hard as he can. He has two transformations as well. Shin Akuma makes him stronger and Oni appears when he gives into the Satsui no Hado completely, although Akuma does often like to hold back to test his opponent's full strength. I mean, he wouldn't want to punch their brains out before they get a chance to fight at their fullest, after all. A punch from Akuma is strong enough to sink an entire island. A kick is strong enough to smash a submarine to pieces. And it's even been stated that Akuma is strong enough to split Ayer's rock in half. Shin Akuma was able to smash a meteor that threatened great destruction upon the Earth. And Oni Akuma's energy alone was enough to erupt a volcano. He even shrugged off the powerful blast of the eruption. He can fire and dodge a bunch of Hadoukens which have been calculated to move at hypersonic speeds. He's defeated his master, Goken, Ryu, Ken, and anyone else who stands in his way. He's definitely a force you don't want to reckon with. But let's see if Haihachi's experience with demons is enough to handle a raging demon like Akuma. Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. Akuma wins! Corn O'Keefe here, folks, bringing you my real prediction. Sorry about the little gag, but as you can see, Haihachi versus Akuma, Street Fighter versus Tekken. I'm still going with the Tekken character, folks. Haihachi. From what I've seen, you know, I play the game a little bit, and like I said, from the Krillin versus Haihachi match in the fictional fights, you know, even though he did lose, that was he showed some pretty incredible feats. I'm going with Haihachi all the way, folks. Um, that's just my thoughts. He's just, I mean, they're both obviously badass fighters, okay? But look at this guy. Look at that guy. Something to do with bullets and teeth. Something to do with all kinds of badass stuff. So, I'm going with High Hachi, folks, for my real universe's prediction. You know, as always, have a blessed day. Corn will keep out. Peace. Hmm, very interesting. Okay, hey guys, Z Dog Six Six Seventy here. Or as, slash as, I guess. Um, to make another universes prediction, which he just op uploaded an update video today, saying that Gur vs Clank is not happening, which is kind of sad because I do kind of want to see that fight. Um, I don't know. If you want my opinion on it, I think he should do it, but with right. Ratchet and Zim, so Ratchet and, Ratchet and Clank versus Zim and Gur, but I don't know, maybe that's just me. Anyway, the next, so he revealed the replacement fight, which is Hachi versus Akuma, which is a very interesting one. Um, especially since I thought Akuma was going to fight that pink thing that, um, like, or, you know in the Google Plus community how, um, Leo had like a picture with Akuma versus a pink 
creature. I don't know. If you know who that is, let me know down below. But yeah, um. So let's talk about this one. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Akuma. Um, because uh, well, first of all, though, <laughs> this has nothing to do with it, but he looks a lot cooler. I feel. And, uh, I feel he has, like, more, um, destructive capability, like, he has the Habuken! Um, that was, that was my, yeah. Um, so, um, let's see, he has the Hadoken, he has the Shoryuken, uh, he has the Raging Demon, which could, like, instantly kill, kill Heihachi. Um, well, I'm, I don't really know how, how much Heihachi can do. I mean... The most I've seen him do personally is um tie someone to a rocket and then so that's the thing um so yeah like so I don't know I I just feel like Akuma has has got this one better like he has I feel like he's more just, like I like I feel like he just has more in his arsenal um for him to win this fight um. Which I know is gonna suck for Leo. I'm sorry, Leo. Um, because the Tekken character is gonna die, and well, that's what you get for killing Perry, okay? Just kidding. I don't really care. I mean, I'm, that fight's done over with. I'm happy I have him, but yeah. So that's my predictions. See you guys later. And uh, yeah. See you guys later. And the results are in. The winner is... Haihachi Mishima. But Haihachi is just a human! Yeah? So is Saitama. What's your point? We'll get to all that later, so how on earth did Haihachi win? Well, for starters, let's take a look at their feats. Akuma at his very best is large island level, and can obliterate meteors. That's super duper cool and all, but doesn't that sound familiar to you? Aren't those the exact things someone like Jack can do? A robot that Haihachi can casually one-shot a swarm of? Now, of course, he could bring up Oni Akuma, but he's completely featless. We don't know anything about his true strength besides just being stronger than base Akuma. I mean, what is it, a 10% increase in power? 25%? 50%? Even if Oni was a 100% increase in power, that's still like, what, two islands? Ooh, scary. Akuma's abilities may be fancy and flashy to look at, but his arsenal is so much smaller than Haihachi's moveset of almost 100 moves. He'd figure out all of Akuma's tricks in no time at all, while Haihachi would still have several surprises to throw out the whole fight. Haihachi has been able to combat multiple foes who have reached massively hypersonic plus speed and combat feats of over Mach 5000. That's more than enough to avoid and dodge the regular hypersonic speeds of the Hadouken and Go Hadouken. In fact, every time we see Tekken and Street Fighter cross over, there's always a Tekken character who dodges, blocks, or even punches a Hadouken. It's clear the creators intend to show us just how strong they are. The Tekken vs. Strong lead and power can also be seen as Haihachi even survived a Raging Demon. But not only that, it was Wrath of the Raging Demon, the strongest variation of that attack. And it's not really much of a surprise either once you consider Haihachi's experience with other demons much more powerful than Akuma. He is the one who killed his wife, Kazumi, after all. Yeah, Heihachi may be a quote-unquote normal human, but that's never a good argument to make. Imagine comparing Naruto to Dragon Ball Z's Krillin. Sure, Naruto is a super cool Jinjiriki-tailed beast creature who is moon level at his very best, while Krillin is a normal human. But that normal human was able to one-shot several Cybermen who were equal in power to the moon-busting Raditz. And we can apply that to this fight. Sure, Akuma is a super cool Satsui no Hado-powered beast who is large island level at his very best, while Heihachi is a normal human. But that normal human can casually one-shot and take on a swarm of Jack units who are also large island level. Sorry to break it to you, but fiction has no clue what a normal human is. It all depends on the power of the verse. But hey, since Akuma can fight Heihachi so well in Tekken 7, that just means Tekken's Akuma is stronger than Street Fighter's Akuma, and you now have a stronger version of Akuma to use in versus debates. But for now, the winner is Heihachi. Get ready for the next battle. It's time for a Disney duel.